I don't know either. Like you said, no one plays this character. Yeah, sometimes it just hits under ledge. Other um, times it just does not. The the good thing about it, though, is you don't have to worry about timing because it's a consistent hitbox that's hitting the ledge, yeah, right? that's true. So, Unless they, like, super delay it. Like, like, make no mistake, the Banjo players oh, aren't... They're just using it and hoping it hits. Dude, Trello's so good! Oh, my God! Let's see a back air. Gonna air dodge back on stage. But Trello, while we were talking... Slowly been bringing this back. I just feel like the problem with Sheik is that she can't KO, but Void is finding the way. If Trella can do the same thing, he's definitely going to be able to make this happen. Okay, jumps oh. into the grenade. Good forward air, Trella. Well, he's got position. He's doing it. Just needs a little bit more. Okay. Oh my god! Okay! It's just a few interactions on Smashville, and next thing you know, you're off stage. Where yeah. I think he's trying to exploit Banjo off stage, so it makes a lot of sense. And you know, the the, uh, the platform taking up most of the center stage kind of uh, limits your approach options, especially coming from the air. Right. A lot of the characters have to like preemptively oh. oh wow. You know, he ain't win Genesis. <laughs> no. You know what I mean? But nonetheless, I I'm happy to see him back. You know, maybe found some love for the game again with Banjo. Obviously struggling right now in the early goings of this one, but some nice little shenanigans off stage. Nice punish on the Wonder Wing. Was completely ready for that. It's one of the few times I've seen Trello just go for like a raw Wonder Wing uh, kill. Boy, it sure is. Austin going for some wild mix-ups, and somehow he's still not getting punished. Oh. Okay, back throw. No, down throw. Yeah, mm -hmm. Trello's going to catch no mash because he would expect that back throw. Okay. I'll throw. Man, it's, it's oh, big okay. Wonder Wing catch the landing, almost killing Young Link at 95%. Mm -hmm. But it seems that he's just been guessing wrong like every time. However, the Briegel Bash almost gonna do it. Somehow Lunchable survived it. Um, yeah. Yes, he does. Yeah, the thing about Fatality is like, he's always been good at mixing up Falcon's very limited recovery. His recovering is so good, like, exactly. actually, though. It, like, if you ever play against him... It is actually difficult. It's crazy, like, how hard he is to edge guard. Like, you're thinking, oh, yeah. it's Falcon, free edge guard. No, it doesn't work like that. It really doesn't. He's smart. Yeah. Like, he is really smart. All right, I love Banjo's fair. It's, like, my favorite. Oh, dude, I'm I'm telling you. For sure. Ooh, forwarder comes down like a hammer, though. Frost, gotta be careful on this ledge trap. This could be it. Okay, finds his way back on there, and look, he's gonna be able to use this platform to convert with an extra up air, and could have been more pressure as well. I so, like the concept on the uh, the spot bomb right there on landing. I think he was expecting it to connect while he was in challenge. Parries all around actually. Pops him up into the nair. Nice. Okay. Yeah, you can get some follow ups off of uh, neutrally as well. Oh, really bad to be there from Biddy's getting punished over and over here, and. Banjo is not really close to dying. He's one of the heavier characters in the game, but landing there no smash. Refreshing him. Yep, yep. Let's give up the stock. 85 now. And Charlie can't get too antsy and feel like if he's going to go for the Wonder Wing, try to get the first KO like that. Ooh. It seems good, but if he misses it, good back air from Trello. Wow. Still got to find a way to approach the Banjo. Normally we see people have trouble approaching the Bayo, but with a lead, Trello's doing a great job of keeping the Bayo at bay. Oh. You're welcome. Um, now, now you got me thinking of this. Oh, oh my gosh, he doesn't even ping an anti air, an air to air, whatever you want to call it, stops people from going into the jump. Yeah, and Lima, of course, loves to try to set those up with the ABK's instant, so uh, mm -hmm. big Wonder Wings. Like we saw in that Austin set, right, that Lima's, Lima struggles when he has to play grounded, but when he's in the air, everything is like right in his wheelhouse. So for Trella to kind of. Uh, kind of pounded into his brain early that that's something he can't rely on too much lest he get hit by a Wonder Wing. That's a, that's a big for Trella, and it's another big Wonder Wing to take that. Knows his character in and out. Oh, yeah. And it's going to be very easy for him, at least, you know, to do these, like, kind of hard things. But, uh, you know, I was just saying earlier, Falcon with a, a three-stock lead is, like, the most predictable thing in the whole game. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, they hit you in the air once, oh, I wonder what he's going to go for. Oh, I want to see if he gets to that point. Oh, what the? I really like uh, Trello's egg usage. I it's, it's really catching me off guard. I do too, but it's, um, okay, it's this dead. is... Yeah, yeah that's, uh... Trello's already back on the ledge trap. Oh my gosh, he goes for the down air, though. Which is interesting, most people would wait for the Banjo to re-grab ledge, but Trello just showed that he's got enough resources that you don't have to. However, Forward throw right here. Thought he might go for the down throw, but he's probably got to believe in the fact that Lunchables knows how to mash. Oh, yeah. And at this percent, you got nothing guaranteed off of the down throw, I don't mm -hmm. think. 
mash out of it quickly like the Rob one. Mm -hmm. Lunchables, though, backed into the corner, gets that single hit in error to set up for a combo, but again, going for that forward smash read. Now mm -hmm. Trello trying to take back that stage control, gets a really nice confirm. Some, uh, some silliness in the architecture right there. That is, if I had to account the largest difference in playstyle between Shadow PR and Lima, it's that Lima gets so much more aggressive off stage. He parries the first hit of the up smash, slides in with that down tilt. Oh, and he jumps and gets hit by the Wonder Wing. Pre-cooked breath said, you ain't doing it, bro. No. You brought a big wheel to a Harley fight. I don't respect that. Take it back to Bobby's World. <laughs> Remember that show? I love Bobby's World. That was a World. good show, bro. I love that show, bro. That was so good. All right, so the cross is going to come all the way back. Yeah, I think it goes all the way until it goes off stage, yep. but... Yeah, I mean, I, I remember seeing Trella tweet recently that he's got a lot more interest in getting back into the game. But Trella was always sort of regarded as like, you know, the, the hit. And they'll get directional air dodge and just get eaten alive by mm -hmm. whatever smash that comes afterwards as well. Our Lunchables push into the corner, actually just aggressively rolls back into center stage to come back. Ooh. Trella, nice confirm right off of the, the eggs into the up tilt. Yeah, and now scooping him with the up smash. Gotta be careful because that forward air is very safe on shield. Mm -hmm. And Lunchables was not really trying to shield grab it, got him, got himself hurt. Nice use of that extra double jump with Banjo to slide in above Lunchables. Has the jump, and these recoveries have been really nice to get around Banjo's ledge trapping oh, tools, but... Egg. I don't think Fatality has his double jump. Never mind, yeah. yes he does. Yeah, the thing about Fatality is like, he's always been good at mixing up Falcon's very limited recovery. His recovering is so good, like, exactly. actually, though. It, like, if you ever play against him... It is actually difficult. It's crazy, like, how hard he is to edge guard. Like, you're thinking, oh, yeah. it's Falcon, free edge guard. No, it doesn't work like that. It really doesn't. He's like, smart. Yeah. Like, he is really smart. All right, I love Banjo's fair. It's, like, my favorite. Oh! Oh, yeah, following definitely. up off the bomb as well. Yeah, oh, my goodness. Smart. Nice. Ooh. Kazooie just able to beat out that sword. <laughs> yeah, I really like how he's uh, forcing Biddy into the air with these uh, projectiles. Mm -hmm. He's covering with the solid aerial. Oh, nice punny. Oh, to go. yeah. At that point, you're stuck. Yeah. This is actually where Pichu is the most dangerous. You can build up damage so fast. Yes. And here we go. Remember, so the weird thing is, Banjo can have a tough time KOing, but Pichu so incredibly light, a forward air would KO here where a lot of characters it wouldn't. And obviously Wonder Wing will kill Pichu at like 70. Also, I mean, um, Banjo's projectiles probably are a little bit better in this matchup, I'd assume. Just because Sheik was, you know, kneeling and was on yeah. platforms a lot, but look at the stage and stuff. That's the only caveat, yeah. is that uh, T-Jolt will... T-Jolt is good. Yeah, T-Jolt will blow up grenades. Shades of uh, that Terror Bear set earlier, using that gun. Yeah, seriously. Nobody does that. Seldom, seldom use, but I feel like a few times I do see it coming, man. It tends to be pretty clutch, pretty high. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. wow. Follows him. Look like a DLC character. Like oh, outside, yeah. outside of Wonder Wing? Yeah, yeah. He doesn't we're... really like look like a DLC character. No, for sure. Wonder Wing is the only thing DLC he has about him. Like, his berry is like so easy to mash out of. Like, I wish yeah. all berries are like that. <laughs> But no, uh, alas, they are not. And uh, the up tilt, you know what? It's like a humble snake up tilt. Humble snake. It's just like, this is where it actually should be hitting. The Nair is humble. Oh, oh but he there you go. An Inkling is a character that has a lot of really ambiguous movement. Uh, yeah. Some of it can be a little bit uh, forced when you pull out the projectiles from Banjo and Kazooie, but it's also like very committal and gives Inkling ends. So they both have to be careful about uh, Trello when he's pulling out his projectiles and how he's using them and Frost, how he's moving so that he can still keep his options open around those. This is, oh, oh my god. Down smash. I thought that was an up smash, Yeah, honestly. me too. Me too. The, the animations are very similar. And that <laughs> I, it's, it's not, a start, you it's not I checked. that good. That's the it's thing. not even that great, you know? No, it's not that good. That's the problem. Like, I think a lot of people in the game came out there like, yo, thank God it only has five uses. And then they learned how to shield and they're like, oh. Like, what if Roller only had five uses, you know? Sure. Like. So here we go. Couple of uh, forward airs on that. Trella desperately trying to find his way back. What are, why that? What? <laughs> TK just walked just behind walked us for no through. reason. Really just kept himself collected and was able to bring it back. Like, not much of a lead anymore for Biddy. Yeah, and then considering the weight difference between the two characters, uh, Banjo's going to live a lot longer than 
young in situation. Yeah. I respect the attempt with the parry into the Wonder Wing. We're trying to call out Fiddy, not hit confirming and just guessing, but that can quite work oh. out.